my um, passion kind of started a long time ago with my mum and I going to show homes, much to my dad's amusement, um, <laughs> and dreaming about converting a, a barn into a home. And um, that's kind of where it started. I know it was, was it September, October last year when you came in and they came in to pitch um, Passion for Homes to the company and Peter Brooks Donson, our MD, came in and you kind of talked him through it and he kind of grilled you. And I have to say, look, when we left, he was like, Sarah, I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, but just before uh, we came in here, we were across the road in a coffee shop uh, and there was a little sign there uh, on the coffee shop just across here and it says Dare to Dream on that sign and it really made me stop and think about what these wonderful ladies have done here uh, and I'm pleased to see the passion coming out uh, in Andrea and Joe on Valentine's Day here. Um, on Twitter I am known as Right Move Addict, as many of you will know. <laughs> And it's that actual name that kind of uh, propelled things a bit further. They actually developed a relationship with Right Move themselves and it uh, developed my passion for homes and property and interiors. Um, and uh, when Andrea and Joe contacted us about their, their concept, uh, and I think the, the simple answer is we like working with people who have a passion for what they do. Um, and you just sold us on, on, on it being just such a fantastic idea. So I hope you'll join me in giving them a, a massive round of applause of encouragement going forward uh, and uh, I'm interested to watch this space and see what develops with you girls next. Joining us on A Passion for Home Sofa today is Laura Hamilton, TV presenter. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having um, me. What an amazing launch party. Oh, thank you. It's exciting to be here. Yeah, well, it's great you could come, so we're really thrilled that you're with us. Um, we've got a few questions from Twitter for you. Okay, um, far away. What were your three tips then for renovating the project? Well, I've renovated quite a few properties now, um, and I'm not going to say I'm any kind of expert because I learn, you, you know, you learn from every project. Yeah. But my biggest bit of advice would be you have to keep on top of your budget. Keep on top of the budget, work closely with your builder and have a key idea of what the, the plan is with the property and stick to it. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Good advice. And what about interior design? Any, any tips you can uh, give on that? Again, like from an interior design point of view, if you're doing the property up to sell it on, you know, the advice you've got to have at home is keep it mutual. Don't become too personal with it. Um, and lastly, any tips for relocating or purchasing a property abroad? Buying abroad is exactly the same as buying in the UK. You always need to seek independent legal advice. If you're going to re relocate abroad permanently, I would, wherever you can possible, try and keep a base in the UK. That's brilliant advice. Thank Hopefully you, that's helpful. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Well, glass is a wonderful material. It, it, it's, it's different to uh, almost anything else. It's got such great potential. It's used architecturally, uh, you know, by the square mile. And um, uh, it's very little used as a sculptural medium. Uh, so I, I wanted to explore that potential. When the viewer moves, it moves. 